Today I got raged at for using a bow check, which was totally unfair. I mean, with gameplay like mine, who could ever be mad at me? Just listen to how grateful my teammates were here. Jump master ever. Oh. Whenever a teammate gets upset with you in Apex Legends, you'll probably find a way to deal with it, right? Maybe you'll conclude that it's just a salty individual who lashed out because they couldn't face their own mistakes, or maybe you find yourself accepting the blame and feel sorry for anyone who has the misfortune of being put in a squad with you, but sometimes, when visceral vitriol gets spat your way, a giant wakens within. My name's Ragtag, the greatest gutter tier gamer on the face of this earth, and today, I cost my squad the game, and this is my tale of redemption. But to rise, first I had to fall, and what better place to fall than in World's Edge? A scuffed landing followed by a failed climb was nothing new for me as I experienced Newcastle for the first time on this map. An island of fire, ice and a fragmented capital where a mixture of sulphur and rubble filled the air. With only a wingman to my name, I had to reach Lifeline before she was deleted from existence because they'd chosen one of the most dangerous buildings to land in. Now was not the time for my aim to fail and as my teammate retreated, my moment had arrived. a sudden surge in bow and arrow wielders. And the price you pay for primal weaponry? I, I, never mind, uh, apparently I'm not allowed to perform finishers in season 13. As I healed up, our lifeline perished, but I was interested in why everyone seemed so fascinated with the bow check. Perhaps I was about to unleash a terrifying power upon my enemies when I wielded it. What had I done? The wingman could have dispatched that enemy in seconds, but no, I chose the path of discovery. Uh, to discover that Lifeline had seen enough, to discover that Wraith was becoming overwhelmed by enemy forces, and to discover that a revival the champion made a poor choice. Yourself, was not going to happen, leading to the moment that changed everything. You f those words bit deep. Not because they were mean, but because they were true. I was useless and robbed my teammate of his imaginary tournament winnings from that quick play game, but on a serious note, something inside me had died and I never even noticed it until now. Of course, death after death after death in World's Edge, I'd stopped thinking about the potential for the weapons I barely used. You think I'm useless, Wraith, yeah? Well, you... You might be right, but I'm never gonna let that happen again. I'll get good with the bow check, and once I'm done warming up in Olympus, I might even take it as my main weapon in ranked. <laughs> Step one of the master plan to prove I was a worthy combatant was to land into Fight Night as Bloodhound, the legend that brought me Diamond in Season 12. I had the Spitfire in one hand and the bow check in the other. Two enemies to fight. This was a trial by fire, and I'd have to learn a new skill from scrap. Uh, oh yeah, good, good job, Fusey pal. At least one opponent left, let's see. How do you use this thing? Pull back the string? How hard can it be? Reloading. Reloading. Pretty, pretty, pretty hard to be fair. So perhaps the real skill lay in waiting longer than you think you should. Because if you do... Even though we won the battle, I was on the fence about taking my Oh, I'll show you attitude to that wraith any further because with the bull check it was feeling cumbersome and unwieldy. But I vowed to see this game through because I was curious to see if there was potential for me to find something special in a non-meta weapon. Turbine seemed like the next logical place to go, but after getting scanned, I was either about to relive my World's Edge nightmare all over again or solidify myself as the supreme bull check user in this lobby.
two headshots? I'm definitely getting reported. Our final opponent died to an unpleasant mixture of Fuse's ultimate and the knuckle cluster, making me think that, in actual fact, being ended by a bow and arrow is actually a kindness in the brutality of a battle royale. Ah, the things we tell ourselves to justify enjoying in-game murder. By the time we'd made our way towards Energy Depot, 12 squads left, I realised that I hadn't yet been tested under pressure. It's all good and well hitting your shots on an enemy that is distracted, but when they are shooting right at me, could my arrows hit their mark? I was about to find out. What was going on here? Why were there four enemies scanned? Please! Right, that's why. Come on, Mirage, don't be shy. You want people to meet the real you? You're gonna have to open up. Just goes to show that if you want to get to know someone, you've just got to get to the core of their personality. But a lucky shot sometimes does things to our confidence that can carry a terrible price. Uh, yeah, sorry about that Wraith, I guess we've still got work to do before we get into that ranked game, so as we looped around to the place our battle started, footsteps revealed an opportunity to begin my toil. really need to work on the killing blow thing, but at least I got to see the life drain from that enemy wraith. As it would transpire, that lone wraith was actually being chased by a hungry squad, and we weren't ready. A sentinel. I didn't fancy dueling a sniper. I wasn't ready for that, but I had no choice. Wraith made a daring portal to rescue Fuse, and I set about stalling this team by myself. Eleven arrows left. Okay, well, I hadn't cracked open the Spitfire in this game yet. Now is as good a time as any. Get wrecked back! Ow, ouch. Stupid cheap thermal drill trash. But Wraith was apparently our squad physician and pulled me back to my feet. I cowered in a nearby building with a phoenix kit while the doctor destroyed a bloodhound, leaving only a mirage. Uh, eight, eight mirages. Well, it was time for another miraculous shot. One that only... Uh, uh, yay, team. Wait, five enemies? Either the decoys didn't realise they were dead, or there were actually five opponents hidden in the shadows. Oh well, when in doubt, run away. Five squads left, arrows replenished, and as we slid down the hill towards Solar Array, I felt the presence of a team, and felt the pressure of the end game, buckling in the trust of the bullcheck and almost fully committing to the Spitfire. They pushed me here, it might be all over. Survived. Well, that was awful, but with only two of the squads, I had somehow found myself the kill leader, and when I saw the nearby care package, there was one weapon that would make me feel invincible for a final fight, and the loot god provided it, the Volt SMG. As tensions rose, we found the other two squads. Each of us was hesitant to make a move, but when round three began to close, I decided to make my play. In came the rest of that team, and Wraith was exposed. I couldn't afford to miss. Oh, 
Oh wait, hi. Not like this. Not again, Wraith. Hold on, buddy. I'm coming. Now just us and one squad. Another care package right out in the open was too good not to peek inside. Could a Kraber tempt me away from the Bocek? It didn't matter. The final team were gatekeeping it. This wasn't good. They had the ring and the high ground. Now sometimes there are wraith portals that you should take and wraith portals that you shouldn't. This was one of those that I should not have. I could have gone with the original plan and braved the bridge to loop around, but instead I stayed in the kill zone, but it wasn't over yet. Uh, well, yeah, now it was. And it wouldn't be a game of Apex Legends if our Wraith didn't leave early. Was I ready to use the bow check in ranked? I didn't know, but it was time to queue up and brave Silver 2 to see if I could climb in solo queue. And if a bow check presented itself to me, I would wield it. Trouble is, as is often the case, I, I, I still apparently cannot land without messing it up completely. Life flying down early, this was a horrible start, but these were the cards dealt to us and I intended to play them. Now, when you're in a close combat situation, which is better, the L-Star or the RE-45? For me, there was no competition. The RE became the R9 and our lifeline utterly bullied. Winning the first fight, but with no bow check in sight, I had uncharitable feelings towards random teammates demanding early combat because despite me getting all three eliminations, minus 33 RP had only improved to minus 30. One ranked point per kill. Sure, they'll be worth more later on, but the risks were high and it felt like it was throwing for us to land hot. And speaking of throwing, wasn't now just the best time to answer a call on Discord? What are you up to? I'm playing Apex Rank. Get lost, you loser. What? You're a loser. No, you're a loser. While Lifeline dispatched of the enemy rampart, it appeared that the final member of that team, a crypto, evaded us. And as the squads whittled down, my confidence to take a fight rose upwards. I stared at the water wheel in Cascade Falls, patiently awaiting my teammates to arrive as a large fight had broken out. Nine squads became eight. Now was our time. And even though there was no bow check yet, the warrior within was ready to take the field. Yes, Newcastle's ultimate should be renamed to Giant Grenade Magnet. Triple take had served me well. I couldn't drop it now. Then one tiny bit of target priority changed the trajectory of this game. It seemed we'd found everyone left on the map, but could we survive this awful position?
No, 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 we couldn't. Oh well, our trust lay in the smurf. I, I, I mean, the bot. Seventy-five RP wasn't enough, and I still hadn't redeemed myself because we couldn't even find a bow check. But a few games later, not only did I find one, but I found a couple of teammates who were so desperate to win, they were horrified by my aggression, as you will soon see. A nice safe landing where I had no building to bounce off and the bow check popped straight into my arms. Surely this was a good start. We looted carefully and when it came to crafting, I loaded up on shield batteries and judging my teammates choices and loot speeds, it seemed they were after a slow game. But when someone hops on a trident, surely they know that you may as well use a megaphone to broadcast your position to every squad in a 5 mil radius on the map, right? Well, nobody wants to die of old age in Stormpoint anyways, so why not? Teammates down, I'm 1v2 with 43 damage to my name. It's over, right? Like a trinity of kings, we collected the spoils of war and proudly drove across the sandy plains of the island. Did a little bit of target practice, which some may call a civic duty to humanity, and headed to Jurassic Park. Through the tunnel and on the other side with round two coming to its end, we began to spy other teams creeping north. Loba? Now there were only five teams left and a chance to rank up was within my grasp, but the gung-ho attitude of my teammates had turned into ultra-caution, and the thought of fighting teams north of Cascade Falls was less appealing to them than I thought. Oh come on man, we're in the top five enemies were fighting, this was absolute torture! Okay, uh, yeah, finally, let's destroy everyone! Trust in the old father. While perhaps we could have won here, my teammate suggested we go through Command Center. A sensible thought, and I agreed. Through the other side, the fighting raged on, and a care package of temptation offered me the one weapon that would replace the Bolchek. But I did not succumb to temptation. All the other teams were fighting on the edge of the ring. I wanted to deal with them right now. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, you're killing me here, Wraith. I can't sit by and do nothing, but at the same time, I, I, I can't 1v3 either. So, fine, we'll do it your way for now.
taking your portal, man. I'm putting pressure on the enemy, Zilla. I also, I don't even know where your portal is. Oh, oh heck. Oh no. Oh god. The game was ours with the very weapon I needed a confidence boost with, and while the axe pro probably did more work than I would have liked at the end there, I ranked up to silver one with the bojack and was storming towards gold in solo queue. Could I make it to diamond all by myself this season with that much harder ranked system? Uh, well, that depends how much I hate my life over the next few weeks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one. Later.